Welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. It is time now for our final pre-season game before that new season begins. It's Barcelona against Elche in the Jaune Gamper Trophy, the annual event here that's coming live from the camp now. Barcelona are very nearly back, but do we have what it takes to be better this season? It's all coming up in today's video. Let's get to it. Because like I say, kickoff there will be coming to us back at the camp now in our first game since our victory against Napoli back then at the start of August. And that does seem like absolutely ages ago. Kickoff there, 7pm local time, the game coming live on Barca TV. But as always guys, I'll be over there in the flick chat during the game with all of you guys. Really, really good it has been so far in pre-season. I'll be posting some links to the game in the chat just before kickoff so you can get involved with everything that is going on. And in our first pre-season game when we faced Nastic, that there was a Division 3 team. Girona then was a Division 2 team. And now coming into this final game, Elche are a fellow La Liga team. And they were actually promoted. This is incredible. They were promoted less than one month ago. That is unbelievable. We really are living in here very unprecedented times. They actually beat our previous opponents, Girona, by a goal to nil in their playoff final in the Saguna division and they actually sat their coach then just days after they got promoted which I always feel is strange but I do think here this is a really important game for Barcelona like I say it's the final game here before our league season begins the third pre-season game that we're actually going to go through and I feel like we need to play this game against a fellow La Liga team with the same sort of intensity that we'd actually be playing with in a proper game because I think when you think there about our first opponents in the league that's going to be Villarreal in the same destination at the camp now and they're a good team they've had a brilliant summer and they're also going to have the advantage of having already played two high intensity league games before we play them so we can't afford to come into that game being cold we can't afford to come into that game having not really stepped up to the right sort of tempo and intensity you need to arrive absolutely ready and that's why it starts here the true preparation it starts against Elche we need to be match ready under a new coach, ahead of a brand new season. And I think in particular there, when you're talking about personnel, when you're talking about the team that could start this game, I think when you're talking about change this season, and when you're talking about having a better season for this Barcelona team, the first place that you're going to look, it's all about defence. We've spoken about it on many, many occasions. And I think one player who has to be involved, who simply has to be involved, it's Ronald Araujo. Because not only with how he played against Girona, which was excellent, the best defender of anybody out there on the field, but not only that, every single time he's given an opportunity in this team he takes it he really does look like a breath of fresh air in our defense and I just think we need something right now that's different we know that we haven't had any defensive signings we're not happy about that believe me we wanted more we needed more but given the fact we don't have any new faces at all in that defense Araujo he's your best bet we need to do something there to change it up to have a different kind of influence a different kind of mentality in that defense because you can't just keep lining up with the same team who lost to Liverpool, the same team who lost to Bayern. You can't just keep doing the same things over and over again. We need something fresh. We need something new. And Ronald Araujo, he should start in this game. And if he plays well again, start in our first La Liga game of the season. One really positive bit of news as well ahead of this game concerns Ansu Fati, who of course has missed our first two pre-season games there after picking up in training a little bit of hip pain. But the really good news is that this morning he completed there the full training session with the rest of the group. And for that reason, he's going to really be pushing to get his name tomorrow on that squad list. He should be involved at some stage. I don't think certainly he's going to be starting the game of playing an extended period, but hopefully we can see him for a few minutes under Ronald Koeman and that's an exciting player to add to what's already a very exciting attack. Another player who will be involved tomorrow is our brand new signing, Miralem Pjanic, who's been training with the team this week for the very first time in Barcelona colours after overcoming COVID-19. Of course, he joined the team late there after testing positive for COVID. And Koeman has confirmed earlier on today that Pjanic will indeed be involved. He will be on the squad list, but because he's joined the group late, that because they hasn't done as much training as the rest of the group, he also will not be starting in that 
that game, although he did say to expect Pjanic to come on in that second half in that deeper midfield role and get some important minutes for him. The first ever in a Barca shirt at the camp now. And obviously at this stage in pre-season, it's so, so difficult there to actually go as far to predict any sort of team. We don't know what sort of experimentation we're going to see from Kuma tomorrow. Although I would expect them, to be honest, to actually now start to see the team that we could see against Villarreal. Obviously, it's going to be Neto in goal once again. Like I say, I would start Ronald Araujo. I think Jordi Albert left back there is probably a starter, even though Firpo should be given a real opportunity this season. In midfield, I think we have to see something better from Frank Young. He didn't play well against Girona but of course he is going to get another chance there in midfield. Messi here in that central role with Griezmann leading the line. Suarez may or may not be involved in tomorrow's game. But I think then there's plenty of questions. Over here, of course, alongside Ronald Araujo, if you do start him, would you again line up with Pique and Araujo or would you have long leg coming in place there of Gerard Pique with Pique dropping to the bench? A right back is quite interesting because Kuman actually said before that he didn't really see Sergio Roberto as a right back, yet here we are are two preseason games in and he has played there already and for quite a lot of the games so that's interesting there to see exactly who will be the starting right back again I think Kuman wanted a signing but it hasn't happened alongside De Jong here we would usually be seeing I feel Pjanic but he's not going to start is that going to be Sergio Busquets Ricky Pooch has played really really well given the opportunity we've got Alenia as well and then in these two positions here in these two wide areas we are blessed and this is brilliant because last season remember we had hardly any wide options Options at all, but now we've got them in abundance. You've got players like Coutinho, you've got Usman Dembele, but then you've also got the likes of Pedri, Train Cow has been so good, you've got Ansu Fati coming back, and even Conrad. So many good players, so many talented players, and it's nice for Kuman to have all of these options because in a long season, you will need them. And so overall, guys, what I am hoping for in tomorrow's game is basically a bit more of a concentrated performance, a bit more of a team out there who are very, very focused on trying to reach that top level. Obviously, in our first two games, we failed to keep a clean sheet in either of those games. It would be nice here to close out our preseason with a clean sheet to actually stop a fellow La Liga opponent from scoring. That would be a good thing, good for our confidence. And obviously, in front of goal, we scored some great goals so far. We've seen Messi scoring in the last game. That was very, very good. Coutinho has scored in both of our opening preseason games. I think a goal for somebody like Dembele and Trincao, that would be really, really nice as well. And of course, Griezmann, he could do with a real confidence boost as well in front of goal with one from open play. But let me know your thoughts. What do you want to see in this final preseason game? We're gearing up now for that brand new season. We want to arrive in the best possible shape. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I will see you during the game on the Flick Chat. And then of course, after it, right here and of course as the season is approaching there'll be plenty more coming up too on more talk fcb thanks for your support guys and i will see you soon but until next time as always vishka el barca oh.